Hey everybody, Chelsea Bites here. We are doing another build and it's probably my smallest one yet. So if you're curious why I'm doing this build, it's because we're gonna build into something really exciting in our next video. I won't spoil it just yet, but I really just wanted to build something tiny, you know, something small, convenient, and we're gonna do it right here, right now. Here we go. All right, so you know what that means. We're gonna be diving into all the parts for this build. I promise I'm not gonna be taking 50 years to go through it. So let's start. First, we have our CPU, the i5-12600K. We're gonna use this, but Intel sent us the i7-12700KF. So I know the packaging is not super cute, but better performance, it'll be nice. So we have eight performance cores and four efficiency cores and combined that's 20 threads. So if you'd like to you know, learn more about what that means for your PC, go ahead, take the time, dive in. Next, we've got our Trident Z DDR5 RAM. Look at that, smooth. I got really lucky, we found this at Micro Center. They were just piled, piled up. I, I was impressed. So the cool thing about DDR5 RAM is that its base speed is like 4,500 megahertz. Like, wow. And when I plugged this in, I saw that we were getting like 6K. So excited to see that in action. Of course, we got our one terabyte SSD, Chorus M.2. So I'm just gonna throw it right into the motherboard. Then got our fan our chroma black Noctua fan. It's low profile, it's gonna fit right on top of our CPU. Then our ROG Strix Z690i gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. What's really, really cool about this motherboard is that it's one of the few ITX motherboards that is DDR5 compatible. And that's really important because we have DDR5 RAM and we're using a 12th gen Intel CPU. So we don't want to bottleneck anything, <laughs> anything at all. Uh, it's really cool because in our next video, which uh, excited to share, this motherboard covers everything that we need for our build. So I I'm excited, I'm, I'm just oozing. I can't wait to show y'all our next build. So of course, this build comes with a special power supply. Uh, it's just a server power supply. It's really, really small, small form factor. Uh, we'll, we'll, you'll see how unique it is once we start building. And our GPU, of course. So of course we went with the 12 gig GeForce RTX 3060 GPU. And just to emphasize on how small this build is, this is one of five GPUs of the 3000 series that would fit with this XT case. And we'll show you the case in a bit, but one in five. <laughs> We're starting with our A plate. So we are going to start screwing in. So it's, we're just prepping the A plate so it's prepared to screw into the B plate. We got our power button stuff right here. It's really useful just to put your screws into the PCB, just straight up, and place the risers. So we plugged in the button. Button should press like that. Okay. Next thing we have to do is put in the riser cable and the handle. You slide it into the groove. This side goes on the same side as the handle. You take this, the B plate will look just like this, just follow the bars, and then just sit it right on top. The next thing we have to do after screwing in the B plate, we're gonna put on the bottom plate. So what I would say is, is you would find this lip right here that's sticking out. This should just slide right into that. So we're going to be installing our Flex PSU. Of 
So the next thing we're going to be doing is placing our GPU, CPU, and our motherboard cable. So our next step, we're going to actually put our case to the side because we're going to work on our motherboard now. So like I said, this is our Z690i Gaming ITX motherboard. Really useful for the parts that we've acquired for this build, namely our i7-12700KF CPU and our DDR5 RAM. All right. I always say hold on to this CPU socket cover because if you ever need to return your motherboard, you need to have this. So do not throw this away. I will say it every time I pull out a motherboard. Do not throw this away. Keep it. So we are pulling out our RAM. This is our DDR5 RAM. That is so cool to say. We have two 16 gig sticks, which means we're gonna be working with 32 gigs of RAM. We are pulling out our low profile fan. I just like low profile fans. Next thing we're going to install is the PCIe riser pedestal. So specifically with these C2 screws, you need to put them as close to the GPU or, or further away from the power supply as possible because with this specific build, it's gonna give you more room to uh, screw in your power supply when you put that PCIe cable down and screw it in. So I'm gonna get the USB PCB, plug it into the motherboard and round it around and screw it into the case. We're gonna screw in the exterior panels and this will complete the case. There is another case like mold. It's the closed mode where if you have the shell mesh then you can close this off so it's completely protected along with the extra cables that you'll have you'll have this little baggie and this is your f these little white pads these stickers so you don't scratch up your case And now for the last part of our build, we're gonna be putting the F panel onto our motherboard. Yeah, last but not least, if you are trying to test internet, you can throw on these little carrots. These are special Wi-Fi antenna. I, I love them, they're tiny, they're low key. 
And there you have it, the smallest computer I have ever built. Thank you, Extia, for making such an amazing case. I'm excited to take it on the go whenever I fly to another state and I just can't skip a stream. Or I just want a game, you know, not a decent setup. So, do you have any interesting builds that you'd like to share? I'd love to see them. Please, please, please follow us on Twitter. Subscribe if you haven't. Follow us on Twitch too. I do some live builds there as well. And join our Discord because I would love to hear more about your PC setup, gaming, streaming, or otherwise. Also, you'll see this again real soon in another video. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.